get to our next game. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. I'll screw it up, Tom. I'd seen it all play out, like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence have all the cards now. Well, yeah, I mean, Alex Casey has the clicker, and seemingly he used it. So we're in a bad spot. All right. Welcome back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this agent, Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I could try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the link. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Oh my gosh. She never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. What's yeah. the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help. This is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon you have available. Don't fuck it up. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. I had to get to Bright Falls. Oh, Bright Falls, Bright Falls. Oh, boy. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim, too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. That must be weird for him. To be out of the dark place, driving in Bright Falls. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well.
is not what I expected. Wake deftly tricks the reader into believing the cult of the tree is the story's antagonist. Alan Wake's latest novel, Return, is breaking every literary record in existence. It's the great American novel. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. The novel begins as a murder. I was inside Scratch's ending. A perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around return, as if it had just been published. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go to rewrite the ending of return. I had yeah. to find another way inside. Of course the freaking power goes out. Come on, be a man, jump the fence. Whoa. Alice? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Oh man, not this again. Yes, Alice. Scratches onto me, dude. Run! We're safe in the light, Alan. For now. But he's very pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. Oh. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. Oh boy. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. We'll loop around and come to Ketterton. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need 
is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can keep life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. <laughs> okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. I needed an ending that took everything already in Return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. It's going to work. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker.